Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s Bass Pro Shop late model, the white one. As always, take a look at the box. Once again, you have the generic late model box, Lionel Racing late model, Lionel Racing. Got to render the car right there, Junior Motorsports, standard finish. Made about 732 of these things. Standard finish, late model, got the same stuff on the back of the box. Register your car at Lionel Garage, and you, of course, have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Here is the car itself. A very nice looking Bass Pro Shop paint scheme. The contrast of the bright right with like the neon day glow orange looks fantastic in person. Lionel did a great job of recreating that day glow orange color. Don't know if it's coming across on camera, but it's nice and neon in person. Like I said in the Sundrop video, I'm glad that they, you know, finally did do some like new paint schemes for some of these sponsors. Like, you know, for a while there, the Bass Pro Shop late models were all just the gold Dale Earnhardt Senior 1998 paint scheme. as like a throwback for their anniversary. But I am glad they finally made a new paint scheme because this looks fantastic. Carson Quapo also races a black version of this. It's the exact same car, but the white is swapped for black with the same neon orange and yellow at the bottom. Like I said, I kind of hope they would do that with Sundrop. Like, the Sundrop car looks great. It's iconic. But, like, I wish they would finally make, like, a brand new Sundrop car for Dale Jr. Instead of just racing the same one for, you know, we're now into year three of it. Like, if they can do something cool like this, imagine what a brand new Sundrop car could look like. I mean, we sort of got it with that, uh, what was it? Who? Which driver raced it? Sam Mayer? No. <laughs> I'm already forgetting. One of the drivers raced that, like, red Sundrop car with, like, the cherry Sundrop or whatever it was. I'm blanking on which driver it was. It was one of the junior motorsports drivers. Maybe Sammy Smith. But I did pre-order that. Hopefully that meets MLQ, but who knows. A lot of the uh, late models are DMPing lately. They offered, like, a bunch of Kevin Harvick Incorporated ones. Those all DMPed. They offered, like, it was a gray ghost throwback for one of the junior motorsports drivers. I believe that one might have been Sam Mayer. It was, like, a Menards Gray Ghost throwback, that DMP, Josh Berry, he had a, a Speed Co. They offered his, like, Junior Motorsports Speed Co. throwback, that dmp I don't know what's going on lately, but whatever. Anyways, back to this car. I said, I absolutely love this paint scheme. That bright white with that neon orange just contrasts so nicely. It just looks fantastic. Really cool to see Bass Pro Shops continue to support Junior. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Johnny Morris, Bass Pro Shops Club. Got Chevrolet Camaro, number three in Junior Motorsports. Down the side, you have Tracker Boats and ATV. Got a Sundrop logo down there with a big Bass Pro Shop logo on the back quarter panel. On the C post, you have Cars Late Model Stock Tour and the iRacing logo. And on the B post, you have Junior Motorsports Racing Electronics. Something tinting. Official stock car, Chevrolet, and Z-Max. Does have the NASCAR Advanced Auto Parts Weekly Series logo with the 75th anniversary logo right there. This does have Hoosier tires again, like a lot of late model cars have had. On the back, you have Tracker Boats and ATVs. Got number three in Junior Motorsports. Got Junior Motorsports again on the deck lid. This is number 283. You got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. So you got a Chevy bow tender there. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously no deck lid or roof laps on these late models. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. Not a whole lot of talk about the car like this. Like I said, just a really cool looking paint scheme. I love that Dale Jr. keeps running all these late model races and they keep offering most of them. So I'm pretty sure they're, the only one they haven't offered so far is that one really weird one that was like, it was like a solid white car with like Sundrop on the hood and I think like Hendrick cars on the quarter panel. I think it was just like they took one of the uh, Larson or whatever Hendrick cars late models and just kind of altered a little for make Jr. run it. But for some reason they skipped that one. It definitely was the least exciting of all of them, but you think with the Dale Jr. you would just offer literally everything he ever drives. Like a couple years ago, they were making all those uh, Gen 6, or sorry, next gen test cars. And Dale Jr. raced one for like a number 500 cars, next gen test car, and they didn't offer it. That was a weird choice. Whatever. Anyways, if you want this card as a brand new release, you can get it right now. I 
Would not be surprised if it gets a little bit rare. They didn't make a crazy amount of them, and this one is the most different of them. Some of the Sun Drop cars have already started to get rare. I don't know if his Gold Bass Pro Shop car got rare at all, but this one is, you know, a brand new paint scheme. So this one could get pretty popular. Remember, for all your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com. If you use the code BWAC, you can get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. So go check that if you want anything. But I think that's all there is to say. This has been a review of Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s Bass Pro Shop White Late Model from 2023. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.